outgoing chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, made a not so subtle reference to Donald Trump during his retirement speech. And he served, of course, under Donald Trump as the top general then and under Joe Biden. And during this retirement speech, he said, quote, we don't take an oath to a king or a queen or to a tyrant or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. Very specific language there referencing Donald Trump. This comes just soon after Donald Trump made a threat to Mark Milley because of honestly reporting behind the scenes that Mark Milley is warning about the threat of Donald Trump. But Trump pretended it was the fact that Mark Milley and other top military leaders were trying to keep foreign countries calm and uh, reached out to their counterparts in China saying whenever Trump was going crazy at the end of his presidency. Listen, the reporting you're hearing about Trump maybe striking your country to keep himself in power, that's not going to happen. All is well. Everything's stable. Trying to keep things peaceful. Exactly what they should have been doing. Trump feels like that was going behind his back and making him seem erratic because he was acting erratically, trying to overthrow a democratic process to keep himself the president. And there was a concern that he was going to start a conflict to justify keeping himself the president. And so based on that, Trump recently said that that behavior in times gone by would justify death for Mark Milley. So threatening. And the Republican Party, the pro-military party, has been silent. It's sickening. But in the aftermath of that, in this retirement speech, Mark Milley said this. You see, we in uniform are unique. We are unique among the world's armies. We are unique among the world's militaries. We don't take an oath to a country. We don't take an oath to a tribe. We don't take an oath to a religion. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen or to a tyrant or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. We don't take an oath to an individual. We take an oath to the Constitution and we take an oath to the idea that it's America and we're willing to die to protect it. You see? And someone who's dedicated 40 plus years to service in the military, highly decorated, highly respected, top general, his words will be ignored by the Republican Party when it comes to Donald Trump. His behind the scenes warnings of Trump's going to lock up his political opponents. I'm telling you, I served with this guy. He can't be president again. Ignored by the Republican Party, the party of respecting the military, as they would say. A clear violation of their own purported principles, but also just really scary as to what that means for their ability to ever have their minds changed. Trump is still polling so high in this Republican presidential primary after so many people have come out of Trump's administration, respected people saying, this guy is dangerous. We can't elect him as president again. Or one of his former top military leaders saying, this guy is a wannabe dictator. Now you can say, we don't know for sure he was referencing. He was, especially the context I just laid out for you being what it is. And the fact that still MAGA will stand by him and the Republican Party will stand by him, is showing their willingness to go along with a wannabe dictator. And seeing the way that they've ignored the words of someone like Mark Milley, and now just call him woke, is pretty stunning. Here was Mike Pence, by the way, getting asked about these comments. Speaking of the military, today in Washington, General Mark Milley swore in the next chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He made this comment in his parting remarks from his role. We don't take an oath to a country. We don't take an oath to a tribe. We don't take an oath to a religion. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen or to a tyrant or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. We take an oath to the Constitution and we take an oath to the idea that it's America and we're willing to die to protect it. It was quite clear who he was talking about there. What was your reaction to that moment? Well, look, I, I haven't agreed with every decision that the chairman of the Joint Chiefs has made in the last two years with a lot of the 
woke politics that have made their way into the Pentagon. But I expect all of that's coming out uh, of the Biden uh, White House. And, uh, and I'm grateful for General Milley's long career of service in the uniform of the United States. Caitlin, I, I, I don't know uh, who he was referring to there, but I must tell you that Donald Trump's recent comments uh, regarding General Milley were inexcusable. I mean, that uh, when you think of General Milley's uh, incredible years of service in the uniform, of the United States uh, to uh, to make the kind of statements the former president made are just just unacceptable. But it's one of the reasons why I, I everywhere I go across the country and and I and I think it might be a reflection of the way I've tried to carry myself over my career. People come up to me and uh, they thank me for our commitment to civility. Uh, they they. Uh, uh, I, I so you served alongside, you chose after it was very abundantly clear that Trump was not committed to civility in the 2016 campaign. You served alongside him. You ran with him. You were his vice president. So don't give me this. I'm committed to civility. Just because now you want to distinguish yourself from Donald Trump. And I have to say, for you to even bring up your belief that he's gone too woke because he thinks, hey, maybe it's not horrible to care about right-wing extremism, white supremacy, and things of that nature within the military. Maybe that's not the greatest thing to have in the military. I don't know if that's what he's referencing, but to even respond in that manner shows how unserious Mike Pence is. You're going to reference or be asked about Trump's threats against Mark Milley and then Mark Milley saying, we don't take an oath to, so I don't care about what he's saying, a wannabe dictator. We take an oath to the Constitution. And you even have the gall to bring up your belief that he's gone woke because of the Biden administration. Really aggravating. And even though Mike Pence talks in a calmer tone of voice that's more typical politician doesn't mean he's a man of principle obviously the christian mike pence going along with trump or the civility mike pence going along with trump or feeling it even important to reference your belief that he's gone woke when talking about trump saying his behavior would justify in times gone by meaning that's what trump wants death Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show and get a bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.